Hey, Nathan here, helping you become a better jungler. This is going to be the first video in the six video follow-up series to my Xin Xiao guide that I published yesterday. If you haven't seen that yet, I do recommend you watching that first before watching this live commentary video because a lot of the stuff that I say in here won't really make sense because everything in the, all the material there, I'm gonna be applying to this to show you again that it works. And I wanted to start off with, this is actually an unranked account I got, just got to level 30. I started off with some normal games. I just wanted to play against a mix of different range of ELOs. It's obviously gonna be in normal games. So the game I will be showing you is this game's this video is going to be on this 13 110 game here so i got a pretty good 10 score on opgg here uh, but this is a really sort of like sort of perfect game based on the material there i do go sort of the full hardcore mode carry build the triforce precision here i get my level 2 gank strategy off perfectly and i get to use bot as the place that i'm hydraulic pressing so pretty much all best case scenario here. I will start off with this again. I sort of wanted my first video to be pretty simple, sort of showing you best case scenario for Zen and how to close out a game very, very quickly, um, as quickly as I possibly could this game. I do have one death, which is a bit of a mistake I will go over. But yeah, so I will be, the next couple of videos, I will be sort of ramping it up in terms of difficulty of the Zin Zhao materials, like situations where what happens if you can't level two gank? What happens if I'm not versing a, you know, weak talisman jungle, like I'm versing a Zach this game. So also if you have any specific situations you've um, had in your games and you want me to try and replicate that myself, I can do that for you. I'm going to be recording these videos like each day as a follow up guide again to this series of my Zin Zhao guide. So Hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the live commentary section. Okay, so this game here, we've got actually two of the champions that... Uh, definitely Lissandra here is very, very difficult for me to obviously gank. I did decide to go the precision tree here, because we did have a TF who's not, you know, insane amounts of sustained damage. Camille sort of takes some time to scale up. I did feel like just going some damage here. Again, sort of to test out in lower ELOs, normal games. Um, I lost my train. I thought that I definitely needed a base and switch out to my red sweeper drinker right now. We, I will be doing the level two gank strategy right here. I have a Nautilus center. This is going to be great for me to get. And Pike was on one of those champs that are very easy for me to kill list as well. Especially the fact that he's not going to have all his abilities to escape, like level one, two. Probably has his Q and his E. He won't have his W stealth thing yet. So mid's definitely going to be sort of a no-go. And I am into... What is that? A Caitlyn top. Okay, actually, top can also be a place that I'm going to be potentially hydraulic pressing as well. So we'll start with bot. We'll see how the game goes. Potentially, I think I'm, in, I'm very happy to just keep going bot until it eventually snaps again the hydraulic press mindset. So let's start off with red here. Making sure the enemy team hasn't warded. Constantly looking at bot. Looking for wards. I don't think they've warded. I'm pretty sure they haven't warded. Okay, this is going to be really, really good for me. Kill all the little small ones first. But they actually are pushing bots. They're going to get the priority. Pike hasn't hit any hooks. So this is a situation where, and this is the option that I have for this level 2 path, is that um, I can invade the blue, but I do believe that the Zack has started blue. So they're going to get level 2 now. I am just going to check. I'm going to go through mid and actually gank mid. That's what I'm going to do here. Oh, oh I'm, this is good. This is good. I can go on this. I'm going to focus Pike first. We'll flash after him here. Kill, back off. I don't want, I'm going to try and take as little damage as possible. Fortunately, I did take a lot of damage here. So this actually really hurts the mid gank as well. I did get level 3 off that though. But I'm, actually, she just E'd. I'm going in. I'm pretty confident she doesn't have Ignite. I'm going for this. Oh, we burnt his flush. That's going to be it. I need to be careful where Zach is right now. I do believe he's potentially top side. So I'm just going to sweep this here and try and just heal up off this Rift Scut last. So I will save my E. Camille has actually gotten a kill there, which is good for me. 
Right, I won't smite. Don't need to smite here. I'll just be efficient with my path in. Cut this towards blue. Save my smite for blue. And then I want to keep going bot and mid. So definitely bot side of the map is my win condition. I'm just going to be efficient here. Clear my topside camps. It looks like Camille's great. I can leave her on an island. So based on the wave, I might not actually do my wolves. I am thinking maybe to skip them. I mean, actually... So I definitely need a base and get some AD items. I don't think it's worth for me to gank this, even though it's technically in a good position. But Camille's actually coming down for it, so... I'm just going to actually just do my wolves here. Get them off the map, get some levels experience and gold on them. This guy has no flash. Nice, he's dead. Alright, let's base go bot. Dragon's coming up in 30 seconds. Let's secure an early drag. Let's get this win condition. Let's get the hydraulic press mindset rocking and rolling. So, get two control wards for the pressure. I do have blue buff, so I don't need to worry about waiting in base for some extra mana. Zach might be bot side now, so I'm actually just going to walk straight bot, preventing the counter ganks, but I'm actually going to go for the dive. So, I'm going to dive bot. Tell my team on my way. Also, obviously, they're helping that. They're burning the... Okay, so Zach is actually here. Should still be okay. So I think Lucian based. Oh, he's going in. Just my little kneecap strategy. Kneecap combo. Push this in. And then let's just go get this Rift Scuttler. Oh, I do need to be careful. The Caitlyn has just gone missing. But I'm not exactly too afraid of the Kate, Zach. Alright, actually, Camille's going for another gank. So I'm actually going to use some opportunity to just hit this. Do a full loopy de loop here. There's a three man. Alright, great stuff. Oh, what happened, bot? Not ideal. Okay, so I potentially can't do drag. Actually, TF has ultimate here, so I actually am going to come down here. Can't 1v1 a red smite. Lucian. Alright, we can now do dragon. Great, so great early start for us. Nice and clean and simple. And we're just going to keep killing bot over and over again. So we've actually got some weird thing going on here. My Nautilus is the one who's the AD carry. He's taking all the CS and my center's going support. It's a bit odd, a bit odd, but it's working. It's fine. I'll take the kills. Again, this is the good thing about me going this carry build here. So it sort of worked out for me pretty well. Sort of by chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an efficient jungle path right now around my the place that I'm hydraulic pressing. Which is going to be bot. I'm going to snap this tower soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip my red and Krugs and do Wolves, Gromp, and then base and then look to do my red. So I'm level 6 now. Doing pretty good in experience. I'm definitely in a good, good carry game. Alright, I'm going to say on my way bot, get my red, maybe even go straight for a gank. We'll see what it looks like in the next 20 seconds or so. I still have two control wards. I potentially should have placed one actually in river there. I'm not sure what I did with that control ward. So I know this is warded. I saw that. That's good. Get my zombie ward procs. I'm going to actually just come here, pressure this, see if I can do a gank, and then actually just then go do my camps. And then look to maybe flush on mid, but... I, my flash, I believe, is up around the same time. Kate's flash will be back up now. So I'm going to get my sweeper going here. Oh, it's backing off. Oh, no. Oh, they have a lot of control here. So yeah, this is all I want to do. I'm fine with this as well. And place the control it here. Actually, if Nautilus is 6, we could dive this. Hmm. 
Let's wait a little bit. Very sneaky, Zach. So you're gonna get hit by the ignite thing there? Oh, we want his passive. That's fine. I'm, I'll take that. Take his blue as well. Zach's too low to even do anything, so he's gonna have to base. Alright, so let's look to redive this actually. I think we can. Nautilus is alt. I don't even need Nautilus. And this is it. This is the hydraulic press in full swing. So let's just get. I'm gonna get two plates here, and then what I'm gonna do is get do an efficient jungle path and actually look to get Rift Herald as well. So. Because I have a winning top right now, I am potentially going to be looking to do, yeah, just do a Rift Herald. Maybe not needed to break bot, that's the ideal situation. So I'm just going to power farm here because I do want to get my Triforce as soon as possible. So I'm pretty, pretty far ahead right now. I need to reposition this as well. It's a bit confusing. Oh, we have a Zack mid. Don't, I'm not going to bother helping him here. I don't need to. Again, I don't need to do anything mid right now to win this game. It's just going to be bot, break bot, make it snap. Remember, hydraulic press mindset. Oh, she's pushing pretty quickly. I'll take the experience in gold here. Kimo's actually just died. It's a bit annoying. Get my red buff on all these things. I have no interest to actually engage on this. Um, Kate, because Zack is missing. There he is, and Pike's missing. So I just sit back, soak up the experience. I'll get my little W on that one there. Make sure I'm not taking any damage. Not Doing any risk of dying. Dragon is coming in 40 seconds, so I might actually skip my wolves just to my Gromp. Oh, actually, TF is old. I actually forgot about TF. So we actually could have potentially killed the cut there. They actually really want to kill TF. So they're just completely sucking bot. Like, Camille's just back from base. I'm actually going to use this opportunity just to get Rift, actually. Hopefully they don't do Dragon. I don't think they're going to do Dragon. Bot is pushed up. We'll danger ping this. Just making sure I'm getting this as quickly as possible. I'm not even actually going to have time to do anything. I just need to go straight bot. Again, this is where I need to hydraulic press. I need to make this snap. I've done my efficient. I've done. I'm pretty happy with where I am at this game right now. I'm level 9. So I'll be definitely be getting some tenacity this game. We can see Lissandra, Pike, Zach. Straight bot here. My mid's doing some cool dives. That's good. Let's just snap bot. Hydraulic press mindset. So on my way to break bot. We'll see. I'll try and get kills first. And then I'll look to potentially do, use Rift Gerald. But I want to get this scrying plant first. Just to check for some vision. Mm, Alright, I'll actually help this. Kill Pike first, here's the squishy target. Alright, now we go bot. We're gonna dive this, no Pike. We dive. Um, don't have a wave. But, see, so yeah, this is where I won't need to use Rift Shield. I'm just gonna... Oh, he's actually... He's switched on. I think I can still kill him. Oh, yeah, I can still kill him. No, I can't. I should have actually walked further. It's alright. We are going to get this. That was actually pretty pretty good one by Senna. I was pretty impressed by that. And this is great because I'm going to save Rift Herald. We can use it to break mid, which is really, really good for us. Oops. I'm actually tanking tower right now. Not ideal. After this tower, we can get Dragon. Nice ult from TF there. 
Let's do dragon off this, and then I can use my rift for break mid. Actually, maybe I'll actually just go and rift rif mid right now, because it's going to break it with two plates. So I'm actually going to go rift. Uh, this guy doesn't have passive, I don't think. Let's just DPS this guy down. Make sure there's no threat of Caitlyn killing me. Rift held. And no, Park is actually here. No, Park's here. Alright. Dragon's going to be delayed. I mean, there's no threat. The jungler's dead, so that's all good. Let's just go do Dragon now. Clear some wards. I do believe Lucian's here, so I need to be careful. I do have Flash. No, Lucian's there. I'm just going to solo Dragon now. We'll just ping it just to let my know that my team know that I'm doing it. I'm pretty sure this should be okay. I have some good vision. They could be looping around this way. And that's a dead dragon. A little bit of a slow smite. Want to go do my Krugs now. And then top tower's gonna be the next objective. It looks like Camille's gonna get that now. Alright, on my way top, Dragon's not up for another 4 minutes 30 seconds, Red is coming up in 12 seconds. Uh, maybe I actually should have stayed there, I think that might have been a mistake. I will get my Stinger next, because I feel like I do a lot more damage with that rather than going Sheen next. I mean, I don't have blue buff, actually no, I will have blue buff, so that's okay. But, would have gone Stinger regardless. Get my Red, go top, unfortunately Camille's died again, so Camille... Did okay, but she keeps dying. Um, she keeps trying to die with Lissandra. She doesn't actually that have that much of a lead right now. Alright, bot should definitely be top right now. We should be sending Camille bot, but, you know, again, this is a normal game. Can't expect the same macro plays. Oh, hit this. I do want to kill the cat. Alright, good work Camille. And that's a dead Camille. <coughs> Sorry, I mean Zach. Alright, opportunity to do some counter jungling. Clear some wards. We can get this tower. Let's just get this tower. Get two mid towers. It's going to be great for us for objective control. Alright, let's back off here. We can't... It's very, very difficult to get inhibitor towers. Nope, we're backing off. This is the next objective. Do some counter jungling here. Great, I got a free red buff. So yeah, inhibitor towers are really hard to get because the spawn times are so low, they can come out of base. TF's not there, so our siege is not too hot. So, um, his base in. Actually, I'll just take the Zax Krugs while I'm here. It's actually not up. Set up my control ward here. Get my little zombie ward proc, just to sort of just start preparing to get in top. But I actually do want to actually base here and get my Triforce, which is a really big item spike. And second rift is coming up soon, so what I'm actually going to do here is base. Do my Krugs Raptors. Uh, I mean, actually, I'm just going to go full efficiency mode. I'm just going to be such a carry right now, so actually I'm going to kill these as well. Base. Uh, maybe it's going to be too inefficient for me to go to Krogs. Alright, yeah, I'm just going to do... Uh, what can I buy here? I'll buy one of those. I'm just going to actually go straight to Rift. It's way more important just to go top. It's not worth getting just my Krogs camp. Like, Raptors isn't up. Someone actually tore my Raptors. I was trying to time that correctly, but I think someone took him. It was TF or something. Actually, I'm going... This is an ADTF we've got. And again, this Nautilus is going support, but he's, you know... It's very, very strange. Alright, there's stuff going on top. Let's help these guys first. Lucian's not here. We can dive this. Alright, make sure we secure that. Loopity loop again. Oh, Camille's going ham. Oh, I hit a trap. We can just be very patient here. No reason to burn flash. And this is going to be dead Zack. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill steal this so I can get... Oh, no, I can't kill steal it. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I was taking tower. 
Got to get those double digits scores. Okay, so let's do Rift Shoulder now. This is going to allow us to break an inhibitor pretty easily. Dragon is coming up very soon, so that's the priority now. I will bat tell my team to back off, but I don't really need them to listen to me to win this game. I'm pretty confident in my ability to carry with this Triforce Zinzia. Definitely don't want to be surrendering. Nice work, Camille. But Camille dies again. Whoops, missed the smite. Uh, hit the scrying plant while I'm here just to deny this from the enemy team. Yoink. And we will be going bot to secure this dragon. I do have two controls to set it up, so let's start placing them down. Let's go... They'll probably clear that one pretty easily. So let's go for this control ward. Here, hit this. Deny all the plants. Let's make sure we're getting dragon 100%. Dragon's coming up now. Then Baron's going to be our next objective. So what I'm going to do after this is do Krugs, be efficient, base, and then we're going to do Baron. So we do Baron next. Set it up. Oh. Oh my god, he actually outsmarted me. Alright, that was not ideal. Too much typing. I should have actually just been hitting, using my abilities to get that. Alright, well there goes our wing condition, our four wing, four wing conditions, four dragons, so... I mean, this is what happens when you start getting lazy with um, focusing on the game for spites. Alright, let's base and let's just set up this. Maybe I did smite that and I actually just... No, I don't think I did, and I just completely just misread the damage. Alright, come top. Let's set up Baron. I'm going to yoink my red here as well. I'm pretty confident in my ability to use this pretty well. Again, I'm going very, very selfish right now, mindset. Um, I'm very fed right now. Not really playing around the team right now. I mean, I am sort of playing the game right now. I do want to, I do want these guys to come, come assist me on this Baron. But if they're going to, yeah, just back off, please. I'm pushing mid. Actually, I'm just going to make them react to mid. If they want to go onto bot, then I'll just... My team bot, I'll just rift mid. Actually, I don't even need to. They're rotating right now. So let's just do rift, Camille. Clear this. Get my zombie ward proc. They're reacting to mid. This is a good hot spot here to control ward. Is Sandra going to walk into here? She is. Okay, so it's a little greedy by me. Gonna run for my life. Hopefully I have an E, something to E to here. Alright, that was pretty greedy of me. So I lose my shot down. I lose 700 gold shot down. That was me just not looking at the map, looking at where my team was. It's getting pretty greedy now. Let's just set up Baron. Let's do Baron. Very interesting Moby Boots on Kate. Don't know if I would classify Kate as a very good roaming champion. Two control wards, straight to Baron. Let's just do it. We have full control of top side. My rift is about to expire soon, so maybe this is where I need to lose it, use it top. Try and pressure top. Ideally, someone pushing mid right now. All right, looks like there's fights going on. I need to come to these fights, help my team. I might do a bit of a flank here. All right, never mind. Oh, no, team is still... In. I'm going to use this right now. Okay. Alright, let's actually just break this in here and then let's do... Let's do Baron. Park's up in 6 seconds, Kate's in 10. 1, 2, scare people off. Alright, let's back off everyone, let's just do Baron. Let's do Baron.
Oh, I probably should have actually just used my control to not save my Red Sweeper Trinket. I just realized how slow we're going to do this because my Sen is not actually a full AD carry. My Nort's going Phage. It's building Triforce. Oh, I might actually have to ult. See, this is actually where it would have been good to get that Blast Cone, so... Knock him back. Still the Baron here. Alright, let's actually just loop around. Let's keep looping around. Let's keep looping around. Dodge this. Oh, he's going to die soon. Alright, we can potentially... now. Nah, I'm just going to base and go do dragon. I think I do this was our fourth dragon. Uh, get this. I am going to build Guardian Angel next. Get Stopwatch, just to be... Make sure I'm very difficult to kill, but I'm also doing a lot of damage. Really, really good item for Zin, being able to go in. Use all your damage abilities, your combo, and then Stopwatch. This Gromp before I go push bot. Camille's doing good stuff. Camille's actually pretty good. I wonder what ELO she is, her main account. Alright, so three of my teammates are dead. We just need to back off, unfortunately. So, need to play the patient game. We can't be doing what my last death was when I was just doing just ridiculous 1 vs 5 in. That's going to throw you games. Alright, just going to keep making them react to here. Obviously, baroning up super creeps is really, really good. It's going to be very scary for them. Trouble this brush, make sure that enemy team's not seeing me steal these. And then I'm going to go keep, just keep pressuring waves. Push mid, push top, push bot. Keep dragging them around the map constantly. Just checking for some wards here. Making sure I'm getting as much CS as possible. It's important to last hit the minion canyon. Don't get slack with it. Still last hit like you're Elena. Wait for these Krugs. Still have a bit of Baron left. I feel like we can do something with this. Uh, I'm just going to base, get a BF sword now. Our teams will split up, so there's nothing really we're pressuring. This is where it's getting tricky, so I mean... Ideally, we're trying to pick people off with Twisted Fate, or we're pushing sides and forcing them to react to them. So maybe that's my job, and this is where I can maybe be more of a split-push mindset, because I'm very strong, can carry, no one can really match me in a split. Which is, um... Pretty rare for a Zinziar game. So I need to be careful for Zack engage, Lissandra engage. Let's just wait for Camille to push out that. And ideally again, someone's pushing bot. <clears throat> Zombie would proc on this. Alright, so I might actually do a flank here. Potentially looking to engage. This is where I can be going on these guys. So I've stopped watching here, so hit them all into my team. Can I kill this guy as well? Or not? I right, should be able to end off this now. Only Lucian. I do have Flash and I do still have Stopwatch. I might go for the surprise combo. One, two. 
Come on, Lucian. Three. Alright, we got him. Get some attack speed just so I can kill his faster. End the game before 29 minutes. GG. Alright, there you go. So I think this was a pretty good example of, again, the hydraulic press mindset. Snap bot, use Rift Shell to break mid. Very clean after that. And definitely this was an example of a carries in game.